What if you could overcome your self-criticism just by having a new story? Now, I'm gonna tell you something in this video that you might have not heard before, so listen in. Every day we tell ourselves a story. Every day we do things and we, we have little stories that are running in our head, and those stories are repetitive, and they're the habits that we keep. So just imagine if you were doing something in your life and then you were, then you were getting frustrated, and then you were feeling good, and you go from frustrated to feeling good, frustrating to feeling good. So the story of being frustrated is something that becomes a pattern, and it's chronic after a while. It becomes a behavior, it becomes a routine, and it becomes normal. So if you go about your day and having good times, feeling happy, and then something happens, you get frustrated and angry, well, guess what? That becomes your pattern, your habitual way of doing things. And your mind sort of tunes in and gets ready to find things to be frustrated about, finding people and circumstances and ra road rage and um, you know, people that don't uh, cooperate with you or uh, indicate to you what they're doing or communicate well. And it gives you opportunity to criticize them. So think about that for a second. If you could stop your criticism of yourself and others just by telling a new story, what if you could write down a story that made you happy, that made you feel good, that by the end of today, you would feel good. What if you started every day by just writing a story, saying these are the things that are gonna happen, these are the things I'm looking for, I'm moving towards love, I'm moving down the path towards love, and then look forward love. Anyway, if you're watching this and you have a great, you have a comment or experience, scroll down and leave it. Otherwise, I'll see you on my next video of this 30-day challenge.